Make sure to join my new Discord server to talk with me, fans, and friends. Plus, you will be notified so you don't miss out on any new uploads. Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you how to make a Roblox GFX animated intro from start to finish. This is beginner friendly and includes the animation and editing process. I'm starting off by going to my Roblox Studio and opening the classic base plate. Then going over to plugins and you're going to need this load character plugin. So if you already don't have that, I will link it in the description, but basically you're just going to go and find it and install it. Once it appears here, you can go ahead and make sure you have spawner origin clicked, so there should be an X on it. And then you're going to type in your username, so I'm putting in MadZ. Then you're going to click on spawn R6 and your character will pop up right here. I'm just going to go over to model and go move and just move it so it's standing on the ground. And then I'm going to right click over on it on the side and click export selection. I'm going to save this to a folder that I've previously made which is called OBJs. You can save this anywhere whether it's your desktop, your downloads, just somewhere where you can locate it. Now I'm going to go ahead and search for an aesthetic room model that I also want in the background. So you can have anything, whether it's just a prop or a whole background like me. You're just going to find one and then go up to the side again and click export selection after right clicking. And just save that to the same place. Now we're going to open Blender 2.79, I will link the download in my description. If you don't know how to download this, I will also link my tutorial. We're going to go File, Open, and we're going to open up our rig. I will also leave the link to the rig in the description. This is just the woman rig. And it should look something like this. Now we're going to click on one of the body parts, make sure you don't have the rig selected. And go across until you see this little gradient circle. Then we're going to go down and there's a little file button, it says open, you're going to click on that and then go to your folder, so mine's the OBJs folder and you're going to find the texture. It will be called something handle, so handle 1, handle 2, just click on all of them until you have the correct character display. Now we're going to go file, wave front and import your model, so this is my GFX character that I'm going to be using, I'm just using the rotate tools down on the bottom to move it. Same with the scaling arrows. And you're going to right click on the body parts that you're going to delete. So we need to delete everything but the head. So I'm holding shift while I right click and then clicking delete X delete. Go set origin and this is just going to connect the arrows closer to the model. Now I'm also clicking on all of the other parts while holding shift so they all go together and I'm going to click join. Also set origin. Now it's going to move together as one piece. Just do this for the head and any other accessories do them on their own. So I'm doing this bag by itself, clicking set to origin and just moving it close to where I want. Also go up to file and click save as and save it somewhere. So I'm saving it to my desktop. This is really important because sometimes Blender quits off unexpectedly, so just make sure you save it. Now I'm going to click on the rig, it should be highlighted in orange like this, and go down to object mode and change it to pose mode. Now you'll be able to move every single individual piece. So right here I'm moving the top of the arm, and then I'm moving this separate part of the arm. You can do this with every single body part, so just move it until you like the pose that it's in. I'm going to have my girl holding the handbag as my starting position. Also make sure to save it throughout just so you save the changes. Now I'm going to go File, Import, Wavefront, and I'm going to import the room model. Do the same thing, set Origin, Origin to Geometry, and you can just scale this to how you like. Next we're going to go and click on a piece, so make sure you don't have your rig selected, and go add camera. Now go view camera, and this is what it's going to look like from the view. So we're going to click on the camera icon on the side, 
and change the resolution to 1920 and 1080. Now you're going to hold Shift F and use the arrow keys or WASD to move around with the camera. This is kind of just where I'm roughly positioning it for now. Now I'm going to go Add Lamp Hemi. You could choose any of these lamps but this one's just the easiest to work with in my opinion. And just use those arrow keys to move it around. The dotted line, the really long one, is where it's going to be hitting your objects. So using the rotating tools as well, you can choose where you want it to face. So I'm having it facing directly on my character. Now go down to this little circle and change it to rendered. This is what it's going to look like when it's finished. So go onto the side over here. And you can change the brightness of the light as well as the color. I want my lighting to be kind of pinkish, but this is too strong for me, so I'm going to the world icon and clicking ambient occlusion. This is going to make the shadows less strong and just a little bit more to my liking. I'm also clicking on these little pots in the background here, going to add shader, and I'm changing the texture to glossy. I do have full in-depth tutorials on this if you want to know more about that. Next we're going to go over to this little icon next to the camera and make sure you have denoising ticked. So this is very important, do not miss this step. Go to the camera icon and change PNG to AVI JPEG. Also make the quality up to 100% and click on RGB. Click on this little folder icon and you're just going to name it and save it somewhere. So I'm saving it to my desktop. Now to start with the animation, you're going to right click on the body part that you're going to move. So I'm going to start with the head, make sure the green line is at either 0 or 1, and then you're going to click I, and scroll down to lock rot scale. This is basically just going to anchor where the head is right now. I want my head to move at around 50 on the timeline, so I've just dragged the line all the way down there and I'm moving the head slightly to the left. Once you have your body part in the position you want to move, click I again and lock rot scale. Now as you can see from the timeline of 0 to 50, my head is slowly turning to the left. Now I'm going to do this with one of the arm rigs. So I'm starting at 0 again, clicking I, lock rot scale. This time I'm going to move the green line timeline up to about 80, so it's going to take longer to do than the head. And I'm going to drag it up like this. Then once again click I, lock rot scale. As you can see now, the arm is also moving with the head, but it's taking longer to move because I've set it to 80 on the timeline instead of 50 like the head. This is just me sped up doing the process over and over, just doing the I, lock rot scale between different points. Once again, I lock rot scale, moving the green line on the timeline, moving the body part and lock rot scaling it again. Check what it looks like when rendered. Make sure your denoising is on. Also make sure to add an ending point so in the bottom you can see it starts at 1 and it ends at 100. So make sure you end it at wherever you want it to end, don't have it continuing going. When you're ready, go to the camera icon and click animation and it will start rendering like so. To edit, I like to use iMovie so I'm going to go create new movie. Once this is fully rendered, you can import your movies. This took me all night to render, so it will take a while, but just be patient. Personally, I like to take a screenshot and then add a blur effect, so I'm going to do that in Photoshop. You can completely edit this however you like. I also have more in-depth editing tutorials, but this is just a basic one. So I'm just blurring that one scene and I'm going to save it separately. I'm experimenting with some text as well and how it's going to look. And then I'm saving the background as a PNG and the text as a PNG. 
so that I can layer it on over top. Just like this, I'm adding the text to my background. I also like to add a little iMovie transition. I like this cross zoom one, so I'm putting it between the blur and the ending of my animation. I'm going to go to YouTube and download a green screen subscribe button. This is just using an MP4 converter. And then I'm adding a little ending transition. You can go up and export your file and this is finally how your intro will look. 